watching the Johnny Cattle Show. The Johnny Cattle I'd like to settle down, put your hands together, give a nice warm welcome for the one and only Johnny Cattle! Man, he's a 
said to me, he said, but I'll pull some birds up to tie him. Hang on, hang on. There she goes. <laughs> One o'clock. <laughs> Two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you die while I'm on, will you? <laughs> I was in the bank today, this bleeding bloke from here. He got this gun, he said, put the money in the bleeding bag. I'll open it. He got this gun, he went, put the money in the bag! And he got the money in the bag and said to his boy, did you see me rob this bag? His boy said, I did. He went, bang! Shot some stone pissing down on the floor, bang! He pushed against my head and said, did you see me rob this bag? I said, no, but my missus did. <laughs> <laughs> Right now. I said, no, he said, stick him up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went down the town the other night and I picked a 58 year old bird up. I picked, shh, shh, don't make a noise, we'll start on that. There it is, there you go, and you're there, Doug. You're carrying my hand. What's your news? I took this 58 year old, hey, have you been to a picture? Hey, Glamour. I like it. I'm not going to just Christmas already. That's what you get there, mate. Hey, I wish I was sitting watching, mate. Look at your arms shaking, shaking to waste them. Hey! Do you know about that many shoes at the car? I think they're going to bleed you from foot coming. <laughs> you know, um, I, um, I got that, you're right, darling, because the other night I got that pistol pallet, you know, I found him in the middle of the road, nearly at the zebra crossing. He said, I get a tune out of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was a piss off, turned the music over. What <laughs> <laughs> you guys say? Oh, oh, sorry, I can't ruin the trap. <laughs> Bag. He said, what's the matter with you? He said, I've got piles, Charlie. He said, oh, what's the matter with you? He said, I've got piles, Charlie. 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 He said, I've
So he undone his zipper, it didn't come down. He, he said, where's that point? He said, oh, your shoes? <laughs> yes, new shoes. He said, you should have bought the bastard hat. <laughs> Dad, I ain't a virgin anymore. I said, the leading money I spend on you, you still say ain't. <laughs> 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 and my son came on the other day, said, Dad, it's only 15. He said, I've had me end away. I thought, well, I'm proud of him. I said, how long was you at it? He said, two hours. I thought, nearly as good as me. <laughs> I said, sit down and tell me more. He said, I can't be asked. <laughs> I said, I bought some snail skin yeah. shoes yesterday. It took four hours to get out. I said, I don't want to get away from the car. And I went, oh, I've got them. Hang on, what, what, what? Where's my drink? 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 Cheers. The view is on fire at week 998. That's enough, Mark. It would pinch it.
He said, you have to join properly. I said, well, what do you have to do? He said, you have to fill a form in. I said, is it very big? He said, well, let me just ask you a quick question. Have you ever been circumcised? I said, well, yeah, I have. He said, well, you can't be a Morris dancer. I said, why is that? Then he said, to be a Morris dancer, you've got to be a complete prick. <laughs> Kim was only a two quid. He said, we got a call the telly. Oh, 
So I can't give you some tablets, you might get side effects, well I don't want to be giving it while I go out and bleed in your life. He said, John, the other guy can suggest I preached in splints. I said, that I do. What he said by tonight, he said, I don't know. So he preached all these splints. I got mad, I'm coming up the stairs in the night, and she's in the bedroom, and I got these splints around my teeth. I'm coming up there up the stairs. Oh. Oh. I was a screw shaking. Oh. What's she going to say when she sees these splints around my teeth? Oh. Oh. I walked in that bedroom. Oh. She took a leg off, she said, look at that man, look at that man. <laughs> she said, I'm brand new. I've never been with a man in my life. <laughs> I'm pure virgin. She said, what have you got to say about yourself? I said, have a look at this, how'd you get the box yet? <laughs> I caught my best friend in bed with my missus. I'm drinking under that bottom bed. I've got that looking green and black and blue. And you know what my missus said to me? The way you're carrying on, you'll have no friends left. <laughs> <laughs> I got me double barrel shotgun. He said, What are you going to ask? I'm going to blow your balls off. I said, Johnny, Johnny, kiss his kiss chance. I said, Go on then, swing them. <laughs> Come here, he said, Went down Broad Street the other day, Broad Street, and we were in my mate, and we was in the, we was in the living room, and he picked up this bird. She was up bleeding cross eyed, the tears were down the back when she cried. <laughs> He got up the corner and in front of me, he really gave up what you meant. And when he finished, she looked at me and said, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I caught my son playing with himself and said, You go blind doing that. He said, My real dad. <laughs> Do you know who knocked on my door the other day? I was in the shower and the bleeding doorbell rang, ding dong, I jumped out, looked at myself in the mirror, ran up, I said, get down, it's only me. <laughs> <laughs> I went downstairs, she opened witnesses, I said, uh, what do you want? I said, uh, can we read the Bible to you? I said, yeah, yeah, you want to come in the rent? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I said, no, come in, come in. So they come in, so we don't have to sit in the lounge. They went, uh, they don't sit in the lounge. They went, uh, yeah. I said, would you like to fire a big coal? They went, uh, 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 yeah. I said, would you like a cup of tea or coffee? They went, they looked at you, so they went, uh, yeah. I said, would you like a biscuit? They looked at you, so they said, we don't know. I said, why is that? They said, we've never got this far before. <laughs> I tell you this, listen. I went down, I went to Marks and Spencer's yesterday. Marks and Spencer's, and somebody shouted, Look! There's Johnny Carroll! And all these women come over and call me me about it. I felt so embarrassed that we should never have shouted it. <laughs> <laughs> And I was looking at eight Samuels, Jules Winder, and an elephant from past me, and he smashed his trunk against his Jules Winder, and he sucked all the rings and watches up his own. I took off, and a couple come across, he said, what's happened there? I said, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> he said, what's happened, Johnny? I said, an elephant, no, but it's an elephant. I said, I'm telling you, smashed his trunk against, sucked all the rings and watches up, he took off. He said, yes. <laughs> I said, I said, it was. <laughs> he said, he was. I said, it was. He said, well, what's he look like? What do you mean, what's he look like? He said, was he an Indian elephant or an African elephant? I said, well, what's the bleeding difference? He said, well, an Indian elephant has got little ears and an African elephant has got big ears. I said, I couldn't really tell you that. Why not? I said, he had a stocking over his head. You know, when I look around here, when I look around here, there's one or two of us aging like, you know, 
everybody in a while. I've been around a long time and I'm, and you know, I get 91 pound now, pension. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Do you know, I've had two housekeepers, both kept the house. <laughs> get the house, that's true, that is. Go on, John. I don't know where I am now, I've got a terrible memory. Put my arm around the missus last night in bed, she said you've had it, and I couldn't remember. <laughs> I took my suit to the cleaners of the house, he cleaned my suit, he said, back next week. I said, bloody big sign on your window. In at nine, out of five, he said, that's me, not your suit. <laughs> I went to the tailors and this bloke walked in like this. <clears throat> he said, we've got a suit fit me. He said, if we have a sack of fishing tail. <laughs> <laughs> I said to the tailor, show me the cheapest suit in the shop. He says, stand there, I'll fetch a mirror. <laughs> I put the coat on, he said, would you like a belt in the back? I said, would you like a smack and a go? <laughs> you look here, me tonight, you know, because last week my granddad died, and before he died, he gave me 2,000 pounds. He said, Johnny, when I die, get a nice stone. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> He died about Festus poisoning, it took four hours to burn him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like going to the crematorium, but I knew the vicar and he kept him on the low cast till I got down. Church with you, church with you. In the chapel, I said to the vicar, I said, he won't walk me, my granddad. He said, you're not frightened of ghosts, are you, John Ray? I said, I'm freaking terrified. Because my granddad, who's one of them, you know, when he went down his house, he turned the radio off and locked the door and pulled the curtain so nobody was in. Do you know what he had his grand on his tombstone? Who are you looking at? I didn't tell him. All right, Frank. All right, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 